Is your freezer filled with unrecognizable freezer burned packages of random meat? They're not labeled, they got ice crystals, they have all the things going wrong. In this video, we're gonna package and freeze our ribeyes. I'm gonna show you two techniques on how to package them up. One with a vacuum sealer and one with another method that's a little more low tech. In the last video, we spent a lot of time cutting down these ribeyes to our exact specifications, making sure they're all nice and pretty. Now what do I do with all this meat? I can't eat it in one sitting. I'm gonna have to store it. So, but how do I do that? What is the best way? I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna go over how to store in your refrigerator, how to freeze your steaks to maximize the life and to make sure you get the most value out of your investment of this whole ribeye. There's nothing better than sitting at your desk at lunchtime, knowing that last night you pulled out your, one of your packages of ribeyes and tonight you're gonna to be having steak. There's nothing better. Here it is. Here's our whole ribeye. This, this primal cut, this subprimal cut is called, just called a whole ribeye. Beef ribeye whole, okay? When you're going to Costco, when you're going to Sam's, that's what you want to ask for, whole ribeye. You can leave it in your refrigerator for about two weeks after you get it from the store and then you're good to go. Now that all the steaks are cut, now we're gonna vacuum seal them. We're gonna use my food saver. The Amazon link will be in the description if you wanna pick one up. This makes it super easy to go ahead and preserve these steaks. First thing we're gonna do is write what it is on the label because all this meat looks exactly the same when it's frozen. So we really gotta make sure that we're differentiating so that we don't, so we know what we have in the freezer. slot here once you get it in there you're gonna put push on both ends and it will release on its own uh, now we have one vacuum sealed ribeye steak right there boom now according to the food saver website it can, in the freezer, hold for two or three years. So that's a long time. So for some of you who said in the previous video in the comments that it, was, it would take me a year to eat all that steak, well, now you have two or three years to eat all this steak. I know what you're saying. I don't have a vacuum sealer. Well, I got a great tip for you. It's not quite as good, but it'll get the job done. First thing we're gonna do, fill a big, a big bowl of water, about halfway. We're gonna take our zip top bag here, and we are going to write on it what it is. And we'll put, we're gonna put our steak inside. Again, making sure you get it all the way to the bottom, pushing it down to the bottom. Seal it up and we're gonna leave the, we're gonna seal it up, but we're gonna leave the last little bit unsealed, okay? We're then gonna submerge it in the water, push everything down, until just the little part that has the opening on the seal is under the water. And then we're gonna seal it just like this. Now what that does is it's pushing all the air out because we're pushing it underwater. So all the air is coming out. It's not, like I said, it's not quite as tight as a vacuum seal, but it will get the job done. Look how tight that is. So this will hold in your freezer, I would say six months. Oxygen is your enemy when it comes to freezing really anything. The less oxygen we can get in this bag, the longer that it will last. Another tip, never double stack. Never put two on top of each other. Here's why. Meat that touches meat is going to get brown quickly. So you're gonna have this beautiful steak by the time you get home, the inside, the, the one side of your steak is gonna be completely brown. We have learned how to vacuum seal and freeze this ribeye. Now, the next logical step is to cook it. Now that it's in this package right here, this vacuum seal package, it is perfect for sous vide cooking. Now this is a sous vide one and I'm gonna in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use this. Sous vide is one of my favorite ways to cook steak. 
it takes all the guesswork out of it and it comes out perfect every time. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how it works. 